Now we look at second modified reserve method which is full preliminary the method also known as Zilmer method. According to FPT, alpha is CX. So CX is the natural premium. And the notation for the initial net premium for FPT is alpha with the F. And G is equal to M. And the first terminal reserve for uh, FPT is equal to 0. So what is G? G is the period of payment that includes alpha and beta. So alpha is the initial premium and beta is the renewal premium. And this is the graph for FPT. So the alpha is here and this is for net level premium and beta F is for the renewal premium. And on the top is the gross premium, same as the modified reserve. Based on net level premium P is determined by the equation of this one. So this is the basic equation for net level premium where P stands for net level premium times the annuity equal to the benefit or the insurance. And based on the modified using FPT, so we modified the equation and it become alpha F plus beta F times the annuity equal to the insurance. So what's the difference is the P. So the P now includes alpha F plus beta F, the initial premium plus the renewal premium. In terms of beta, so we rearrange the equation and finally we get this one. So this is very important for calculating beta using FPT. So the definition of this equation is issued one year later at age one year higher. That's why x plus 1. And for the initial premium pays for the first year death claims only. After substitute the beta F into prospective method in modified reserve in slide 3, the terminal reserve of FPT become this equation. So for this, this cost we only cover on prospective method. So this is the terminal reserve at time T. Under the FPT terminal reserve on a given policy at the end of the first year is 0. So at t equal to 1, the terminal reserve equal to 0. However, the tieth terminal FPT reserve, TVF is the t minus 1 tieth net level reserve for a policy issued at an age 1 year higher with premium payable for a year less than the original premium. So this is M minus 1 stand for a year less than the original premium payment period. Or we also can write down in terms of this one. So TVF for FPT actually is equal to this one M minus 1 and t minus 1 vx plus 1 for n minus 1 yes for the range of t 1 to m as a recall for the net level reserve that we covered in last semester for prospective method if t greater than n so for the first case this one is for ordinary policy where is there is no n 
and this is for endowment because we have n years and this is for how many payment for the premium if it's not stated so there is no n if there is no m here so we just use the x plus t and for t less than m for the first case this is also for ordinary policy where there is no n but we have m here for the number of payment so for the number of payment only this term is involved for the benefit is used like the whole life insurance the ordinary policy so the second one is for the endowment with the m payment of premium so for benefit we use n for n years and for the payment we use only the m so this is the number of payment and this is the number of payment because the annuity involves the premium payment and where the premium is equal to the insurance divided by the annuity and when we convert in terms of commutation function we got mx minus mx plus n over nx minus nx plus m so the denominator we use in term of m and the numerator we, we use in term of n so this is for benefit and this is for premium so the FPT alpha F is initial net premium for the FPT is equal to CX so CX we can refer to the table beta F is the renewal net premium where this is the notation and this is how we find the t -th terminal reserve for FPT so we use beta F so we have to substitute the beta F inside here we also can express in terms of this equation or for any year endowment policy, we can use this one. So both are the alternative equation that we can use other than this one. Now we try example two. Calculate the prospective method, the term reserve at the end of the fifth policy year for the following 1000 policies issued at age 35 using FPT system so A for ordinary life and B for 20 payment life so the information that we have is X is equal to 35 T is equal to 5 and the benefit is equal to 1000 So for ordinary life, A, so we can use this alternative equation. Then we substitute the H and the T inside and the benefit as well. And we, we refer to the table for and we substitute the values given and we got 61 ringgit. 30 cent for ordinary life policy now we try the second one 20 payment life so for FPT terminal reserve this is the equation that we have to use 
so the m is equal to 20 so we can substitute this one into this one using this equation so x plus 1 so become 36 t minus 1 become 4 and m minus 1 become 19 so that according to the basic equation for m payment so this is how we calculate the terminal reserve and so then we substitute the H and the T years and the M years and the M payment inside the equation. And now we can find the 19P36 by using this formula and we refer to the life table and we get these values and this is in term of 1000 policy so we multiply this one with 1000 and this one we can also straight away refer to the table and as well as for the temporary annuity we'll get these values and we substitute in the equation and we get 99 ringgit 75 cent commissioners method or the Commissioner's Reserve Valuation Method prescribes the FPT method for a policy where FPT Renewal Net Premium, the BF, less than 20 payment life policy issued at same age. So this is the equation. The first equation that we have to know is Beta for the commissioners minus the alpha the, for the commissioners is equal to 19px plus 1 minus cx. So this is for the neutral premium where we can find using the table. And this is for the premium. And after we rearrange the equation and we get this one. And for the terminal reserve for commissioner's method is this one. So for the beta commissioners, we just substitute from the previous equation. Now we try example 3. For a 1015 year endowment policy issued at age 35 and modified on the commissioner's method, Calculate the first year and renewal net premium. So this is for alpha, com, and this is for beta commissioners. And B, we have to find the 10th terminal reserve using perspective method. So we have to find TVX. So the benefit is 1,000 for 15 year endowment. So N is equal to 15. X is equal to 35. Now we find the alpha and the beta. So this is the premium for the endowment by using this equation and we convert in terms of commutation function and we refer to the table to get the values and finally we get 54 ringgit and 0362 then we can plug in in the equation given in the commissioners method now we find the equation for the commissioners method this one we can refer straight away from the table you can refer to table 5 and from the table we get 23.36687 and then we use this formula 
to find the beta commissioners. So this is the general form for beta commissioners since it is endowment so we have n years here for the premium since there is no m so for the annuity we use n and then we got beta commissioners method is equal to 55 ringgit 97 sen then we can find the alpha by rearrange the equation then we get 32 ringgit and 61 sen now we try b to find the 10 years terminal reserve using the commissioners method so this is the general form for terminal reserve then we substitute the x and t as well as the n and we convert in terms of commutation function and we, we refer to the table for the values needed and we got 600 3 ringgit and 078 cents